All right, this weekend, I watched what I thought was going to be my favorite 1706 load. In fact, it was. It, it, I flew it in my big doorknob, um, and I flew the K1103 Propellant X, and it was awesome. <laughs> Um, except I got home and I couldn't get the case out of the rocket. And I don't know if you can kind of see what's going on there, but we bulged the case. So this is my first ever Aerotech failure, I guess. Um, yeah, cool. So this is another video. It's definitely not a tutorial. Um, it's just me learning how to use my six inch lathe. And I figured the rocket people would be interesting in seeing how I you know, saved this case that bulged um, and made it usable again. And the machinist out there might have fun destroying my technique in the comments. So here we go. Um, the first thing right off the bat I learned about was uh, how much stick out you can get away with. I tried to just chuck this thing in the lathe with no steady rest to, to part off the end here. Uh, and you can imagine how well that went. Cool. So I've got my 3D printed <laughs> steady rest, an old Craftsman six inch lathe, and a busted up Aerotech case. So um, I've got this mounted and kind of indicated in. The case is actually out around a little bit. So there's like, I don't know, tooth hour run out, which is actually awesome for this. So we're going to go ahead, part this off, and then do some internal threads. We're trying to match this. Um, it's like a 2.05 inch, 24 thread per inch, uh, thread on the closures. And we're hoping that'll fit inside there when we're done. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to start by just parting this off. The case should be like 11 and five eighths. Put myself a little scratch mark there. Um, I'm just going to use some high speed tool bits. For this part, got the right length, <clears throat> gonna lock the carriage or cross slide. Give me a little more rigidity. All right, we're gonna start by parting this off. <laughs> Cool, so I've got an indicator on there, dial gauge. Um, I'm within about two thou run out, which is pretty good considering the pipe's probably not even that round. <laughs> so I'm happy with that 3D printed steady rest. Um, I'm just gonna throw some quick chamfers on this and then we're gonna cut some threads. So just a slight chamfer on the... Just enough to take the edge off, and then I'm going to cheat and actually use my boring bar, my thread tool, thread insert, whatever you want to call it, to do a, a chamfer on the interior here. All right, so my next step is um, I want to set the ID of this pipe to 2.01 inch, and it's currently at 198. So I'm going to try to open it up about 10 thou, which means I need to do a 5 thou cut on the cross slide. Um, I've come in here and touched off. You can hear it. 
All right, so I want to do that for a depth of about 360,000. So I'm just going to kind of check it by eye as I go along here. Let's see, I'm going to come out. Five thou. <laughs> Yes, son. Time to call food. You're right. Let me set my dials to zero and I'll be right up. Uh -huh. So like I mentioned, since I know that's right where the tool is on the surface, um, I'm going to go ahead and zero my dials. Okay. Be right up, kiddo. All right. Welcome back to the threading channel, huh? Um, so now we're ready to cut threads. Um, I've got a little mark here, burn it marker. That's like 360 thou in. Um, in general, I need like seven threads. So I'm going to shoot for eight and um, disengage the half nut around then and then see where we are in terms of that mark. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is set this lathe into back gear. Um, basically, that's like half speed. So we're going to go from, uh, gosh, actually, I'll tell you how many RPM that is. Maybe at the lowest setting, we were turning at 430. Um, we're going to be threading at like 55. So it'll be nice and slow. We'll be able to react and count threads and it'll be a good time. All right, so I got all my change gears set. Um, I actually had to print some of those out of PLA, but they work fine. Uh, so my thread dial's engaged. That's this little guy here. Kind of keeps track of where you are in your lead screw. Um, my dials are zeroed for when we were last touching off on the parts here. Um, what I want to do is my compound set at like 29 degrees. Um, so if you do a little trig, every, you know, movement of this is actually, you know, square root of three over two, um, in this direction. So, um, basically I can move this a lot and this will move almost half as much perpendicular to the part um, about. So I'm going to take 10 thou cuts on the compound for each thread. I'm going to do that about three times and then check my threads and we'll see how they look. Um, so this is the speed it's going to be running. <coughs> and basically every time, so I'm going to come out 10 thou on the compound. And next time my dial indicator comes through, I'll engage that thread. And when this starts scratching, I'm going to count about seven or eight threads and then throw the half nut and back out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Throw that half nut. Pretty much where my mark is, my marker. Anyways, on the ways. So now. I'm just going to move the cross slide in, walk this back, set my cross slide back to zero, which I'm pretty sure is there. I'm just going to double check. Yeah. And then I'm going to take another 10 thou on my cross slide. And actually there's the threads. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty much on my mark. In with the cross slide. Back with the carriage. Cross slide back to zero. Take another ten thou on the compound. Let's see, here comes my dial in my thread indicator, engage, nice and slow, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm just cutting some threads real quick, buddy, okay? Uh, in a sec. Yeah, let's take a peek at how this thread's in. Daddy can go up there. Uh, in a sec, buddy. And I'll have the camera. Oh, I'll have the camera. Yep, yep, yep. I'm coming towards you. So I need like one more cut and that's your thread. Hey, you want to watch this? Whoa! What do you want to say? Hi? Hi. Yeah, we should probably put some real shoes on if there's chips on the ground, huh? What do you think? All right, let's go play. Hi. <laughs> All right, you ready to watch now? Mm -hmm. Cool. Don't tell mom you don't have shoes on, huh? Mm -hmm. The rocket motor? Yeah, it's a rocket motor. Um, what I need to do is I'm trying to make this fit inside there. Ready? Let's see if this fits. Whoa, it's close. I think we got to do like one more cut, okay? So. Please like this channel. It's my dad making waffles. <laughs> Hold on, on. <laughs> what do you do you want to say? I already said it. Okay. I'm, I'm saying it about this. Yeah. All right. Let's keep the camera right there. I like that. All right. Can I do it while looking through a camera? Oh, boy. Can I do it left-handed while looking through a camera? Oh, kiddo, that feels so good. The threads. I think we did it. Does it go all the way? It goes all the way. Nice and tight. Cool. So we just salvaged a blown up case uh, with a little helper. I don't know if I got a good video of the steady rest, but it just uses the hardware from my tailstock, like the big plate on the bottom, the screws. Um, and I just printed it real thick. I think it's like two inch by half inch or an inch. Um, like five wall layers, 25% infill gyroid. I made little PLA caps and just used quarter 20 hardware. And basically the part rides on a little film of oil. It worked great. Um, I mean, we cut internal threads, right? Um, yeah, and here, let me show you. Um, sorry, my kiddo is experimenting with a infrared thermometer over there. What's the temperature, Eddie? <laughs> Look at the numbers. So these are the change gears. Five and a five. Five and a five is a 55. Good work. That's um, so I just printed some PLA change gears to give me 24 threads per inch. Um, this is a 64, and I forget what that is, a 32. And actually, uh, you can see they don't need much strength. I, I We had to turn this one down to fit, and I cut all the surface layers off, and it's just the infill, and it still worked fine. So yeah. There she be. All right, come be a degenerate with me and uh, I'll explain this. So I want to pressure test this case. Um, so what I'm going to do is use a plug forward closure, <laughs> a used O-ring, and a seal disc on that. Um, I don't know what this liner was from. It was about 10 and a quarter inches long, which was exactly what I need. It's used, but whatever. Um, I just need that as a spacer so I can compress the seal disc into that O-ring. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end, except instead of a nozzle, it's gonna be my forward closure I normally use for EX. We're gonna pump it up with this grease gun. I know Aerotech runs these at like 850 PSI um, with a factor of safety in there. I'm hoping it'll take a thousand. So I'm gonna to try to run this up to a thousand PSI. And obviously I'm gonna fill it with a bunch of water. Um, that way, if it does let go, it's not, um, an explosion. It's, hopefully it's a, a squirt. Uh, so let's do it. Let's... let's see. I'm going to guess that's the right amount. So here's the other thing. Aerotech also specs this gap should be less than an eighth of an inch. I'm at 84 thou. So that's in spec. Let's see, you guys can see that, right? Yeah. 
Okay. So there's 500, 6, 7, 8. Cool. Okay, here's 850. So that's normal maximum operating pressure. I'm going to go real slow. 9, 950, holding that beautifully. Here comes a thousand, and I'm gonna stop there because I'm chicken. That's great. That's awesome. All right. Here's the funny thing. I didn't think about how to release this pressure. I definitely should have put a valve on this. Oh, this was dumb. This was real dumb. Um. All right, guys. This is dumb. Obviously, I have eye protection on. It's still at nine hundred. It's still at 900. So your MPT fitting is going to be really loose. <laughs> All right, 875. Yeah. Oh, I just thought about this. If that takes off, it's like a nozzle. Shit. You know what? It's full of fluid, though. Yeah, it's okay. So here we go. 700. No, that's 800. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, it's dropping. Look at that. Okay. Just a little leak. Yep, it's leaking out. Perfect. Okay. Well. Cool. Well, thanks for surviving that with me.